Ubisoft has been a powerhouse in the gaming world, but recent titles have sparked some controversy with titles like Assassin's Creed, Shadows, and the downfall that the company is facing. So I decided to make this video to reflect on some titles that Ubisoft released in the past that were highly rated from the stealthy adventures of Assassin's Creed to the wild escapades in Far Cry. These are the top 30 Ubisoft games that captured our hearts and imaginations. You have crowned yourself Lorenzo di Medici, Principe of Firenze. I've done no such thing. Of course not. Ever innocent. How convenient. At least Assassin's Creed 2, 2009. Let's start with one of Ubisoft's crown jewels. Assassin's Creed 2. Released in 2009, this game took the series to new heights by refining the parkour mechanics, introducing engaging combat, and delivering an unforgettable story in Renaissance Italy. Ezio Auditore quickly became a fan favorite with his charm, wit, and quest for revenge. Today's Assassin's Creed games have expanded in size, but Assassin's Creed the Seru stood out by keeping its world rich in detail without overwhelming players. The deed. Where can I find Uberto? According to my girls, he'll be attending an unveiling tonight of Verrocchio's latest work. It will be held at the Santa Croce Cloister. Watch over my mother and sister while I'm away. Of course, Ezio. Comparison with modern AC games. While games like Assassin's Creed Valhalla are praised for their scale, some fans miss the tight narrative and focused gameplay that AC2 offered. Ubisoft has leaned more into RPG elements in newer titles, but Ezio's story-driven adventure is still considered one of the best in the series. I'll be honest, I put this warm-up together to show the team at Red Bull what you're capable of because they're putting on an event nearby called the Ultra Natural. Well, they love what they saw and want you to take part, so let's get over there and not pass up this big chance for you to shine. Steep. In 2016, Ubisoft tackled extreme winter sports with Steep, a game that allowed players to ski, snowboard, paraglide, and wingsuit through an open world mountain range. The game embraced a sense of freedom and exploration with a focus on multiplayer challenges and a stunningly realized winter landscape. Though it flew under the radar for many players, Steep garnered a dedicated fan base for its unique take on extreme sports and its multiplayer features. It laid the groundwork for future open world sports titles and is fondly remembered by its community. Trials Fusion. Ubisoft's Trials series took physics-based motorcycle stunts to a whole new level with Trials Fusion. The game's tight controls, challenging courses, and addictive gameplay loop made it a hit among fans of precision platformers. The addition of futuristic settings and a strong focus on community-created levels added replayability. While simple in concept, Trials Fusion demonstrated the importance of perfect controls and creative level design. It continues to influence indie developers who seek to make fun, skill-based experiences, proving that small games can offer endless replay value. How is that motherfucker? To my father's black card, to my black card. Woo! God, I haven't done Sambuca since I was 20. Far Cry 3, 2012. Far Cry 3 changed the landscape for the first-person shooters. The introduction of an open world filled with chaos, survival mechanics, and one of the best villains in gaming. Doing the exact same fucking thing over and over and over and over and over again. Voss made this game a standout. It was the perfect blend of story and player-driven action. Modern Far Cry games have struggled to capture the same magic while they offer bigger worlds and more weapons. They often recycle the same gameplay loops. Far Cry 3 remains beloved for its focused narrative and unforgettable moments. Um, and even I dare ask. Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag 2013. 
many fans consider Assassin's Creed for Black Flag the best in the series. By introducing naval combat and an open world Caribbean setting, Ubisoft gave players a pirate adventure like no other. Edward Kenway's story was compelling, and sailing the high seas while plundering ships felt incredibly immersive. And turmoil. I seen him clear the deck of a Spanish galleon. Today's Assassin's Creed games have tried to recreate the magic of Black Flag's naval mechanics, but none have done it quite as well. The balance of exploration and story made Black Flag stand out, while modern entries often feel more bloated. Suspect is armed. Repeat, suspect is armed. Oh, God. Civilian who needs medical attention. Watch Dogs 2014. Watch Dogs offered a fresh take on open world games by focusing on hacking and surveillance. Set in a near future Chicago, the game explored themes of privacy and control in a world driven by technology. While it didn't live up to all the hype, it laid the foundation for a unique franchise. Evolution of the series Watch Dogs. Two improved on the original's gameplay, but the series still faces criticism for not reaching its full potential. Modern Ubisoft games often follow a formula, but Watch Dogs was at least trying something different. Rayman Legends, 2013. In a world dominated by realistic graphics and gritty storylines, Rayman Legends stood out with its colorful visuals, tight platforming, and sheer creativity. It's a love letter to platformers of old, but with modern sensibilities, even today, few platformers offer the same level of, of polish and charm. Rayman Legends, 2013. In a world dominated by realistic graphics and gritty storylines, Rayman Legends stood out with its colorful visuals, tight platforming, and sheer creativity. It's a love letter to platformers of old, but with modern sensibilities. Even today, few platformers offer the same level of polish and charm. The Division, 2016. Ubisoft's foray into the looter shooter genre, The Division, brought players into a post-apocalyptic New York. While the game was criticized for lack of content at launch, it eventually built a strong player base with consistent updates and expansions. See the bomb's location and defuse it. Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege, 2015. No list of iconic Ubisoft games would be complete without Rainbow Six Siege. Unlike most shooters, Siege focused on teamwork, strategy, and destruction, making it one of the most intense competitive experiences in gaming. How dare you come in here? You do this, you will pay. A son, that's right. If you kill me, he will avenge me. He loves me. Far Cry 2, 2008. Far Cry 2 is often remembered for its punishing mechanics like gun degradation and the malaria system. While some players found these elements frustrating, they added to the game's immersion and realism. Victory! For Honor. For Honor brought a unique twist to the action genre with its focus on medieval warfare and close quarters combat. The game's art of battle system introduced a tactical fighting mechanic that rewarded precision, timing, and strategy, something not seen in other Ubisoft titles at the time. Despite a rocky launch, For Honor has built a loyal community over the years. Many modern Ubisoft games prioritize fast paced action but uh, For Honor stands out for its slower, more deliberate combat style. Its intricate fighting system remains popular among fans who prefer skill-based gameplay over flashy, chaotic mechanics. Were their names Yuri and Polito? Si, Yuri Polito. These are the fucks that tortured Ricky Sandoval while Sueño questioned him. I want them bad. We only saw run-of-the-mill Sicarios when we freed Amaru. But I haven't seen Yuri Polito in at least three days, maybe four. Ghost Recon Wildlands. Ghost Recon Wildlands 
offered players a massive open world tactical shooter experience set in the Bolivian jungle. The game emphasized teamwork, giving players the freedom to approach missions in a variety of ways, from stealth to full on assault. The cooperative multiplayer aspect was a huge selling point, allowing teams to plan and execute missions with real time strategy. Though criticized for repetitive mission structures, Wildlands was praised for its beautiful, expansive world and cooperative gameplay. It helped define a new era for tactical open world shooters and influenced other games in Ubisoft's portfolio. Zombie U. Ubisoft took a bold step into the survival horror genre with Zombie U, a Wii U launch title that embraced a gritty, challenging take on the zombie apocalypse. The game utilized the Wii U's second screen to immerse players in the experience, forcing them to constantly check their inventory while being vulnerable to attacks. It was a unique mechanic that added to the tension. Unique Mechanics and Innovations Although the Wii U struggled, Zombie U was praised for its innovative use of the console's features and its brutal difficulty. Modern zombie games tend to be more action-oriented, but Zombie U kept the focus on survival, making it a memorable part of Ubisoft's portfolio. If you're enjoying this epic gameplay and want to see more awesome content like this, make sure to smash that like button and drop a comment below with your favorite part so far. Your support helps us bring you more of the games you love. Far Cry Primal. Far Cry Primal took the Far Cry formula and transported players back to the Stone Age. Without modern weapons or vehicles, players relied on primitive tools, hunting and taming wild animals to survive in a brutal world. This change of setting was a fresh take on the series and emphasized exploration and survival in a prehistoric landscape. <laughs> A unique twist in the Far Cry franchise. Though not the most popular Far Cry title, Primal is notable for its distinct setting and gameplay innovations. It remains a fan favorite for players who want something different from the traditional first person shooter format. Child of Light. Stepping away from Ubisoft's usual 8AA offerings, Child of Light is a beautifully crafted RPG with a fairy tale aesthetic. The game is a side scrolling adventure that mixes turn based combat with poetic storytelling. Its watercolor art style and charming soundtrack helped it stand out as a unique, smaller project from Ubisoft. <laughs> While modern games often emphasize massive worlds and complex systems, Child of Light reminds us that sometimes simplicity and artistic expression can create a more memorable experience. It remains a beloved indie style title from Ubisoft. The Crew. With The Crew, Ubisoft sought to create an open world racing game like no other. Spanning a condensed version of the United States, the game allowed players to drive coast to coast, joining up with friends for co-op races, events, and challenges. It offered a persistent online world, blending multiplayer and single player seamlessly. Although The Crew received mixed reviews for its handling and mechanics, it pushed the boundaries of what open world racing games could achieve. Its ambitious scope paved the way for future improvements in the crew 2X and beyond. Ah! 
Assassin's Creed Odyssey. As one of the more recent titles in the Assassin's Creed series, Odyssey expanded on the RPG elements introduced in previous games like Origins. Set in ancient Greece, the game gave players the freedom to explore an expansive, beautifully crafted world, complete with naval combat, branching storylines, and more role-playing depth. While some fans miss the stealth-heavy gameplay of earlier Assassin's Creed titles, Odyssey succeeded in making the series more open-ended, allowing for multiple approaches to missions and character progression. This evolution in the series has made it a hit with RPG fans, although it divided longtime purists. Beyond Good and Evil, 2003, next up a cult classic, Beyond Good and Evil. This game was ahead of its time, blending action, puzzle solving, and storytelling in a seamless way. Its protagonist, Jade, was a strong, independent lead, breaking away from the typical characters of the time. Well, that's it. Finito. Dead. Unfortunately, Beyond Good and Evil didn't achieve commercial success at release, but it gained a strong fan following over time. Today's games often struggle to balance narrative and gameplay, but Beyond Good and Evil managed to weave an engaging story with gameplay that felt natural. Ubisoft has promised a sequel for years, but fans are still waiting. <laughs> Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, 2003. Next, we have Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time, a game that revolutionized the action-adventure genre. Its time-rewind mechanic was groundbreaking, and its narrative was full of heart and intrigue. The fluidity of movement and combat made it a standout in Ubisoft's library. Modern remakes have struggled to recapture the magic of the original. Many modern games, especially in the action-adventure genre, focus on flashy set pieces, but the Sands of Time emphasized precision and clever puzzle design. Even 20 years later, the game holds up as a masterclass in design. Nothing has changed, Bishop, and it won't change by degrees. We have to tear it down and start over. It's the only way. Your own little chaos theory, throw the world into war and hope that what comes out the other side is better. It will be better, because this war will change things, Sam. Splinter Cell Chaos Theory 2005. Stealth games have seen many iterations, but none have quite captured the tension and strategy of Splinter Cell Chaos Theory. This game allowed players to approach missions in a variety of ways, relying on shadows, gadgets, and Sam Fisher's elite training. Even now, fans are begging for a new Splinter Cell game. It doesn't have to end like this, Sam. No, but it does have to end. On that we With Chaos Theory, Ubisoft gave players full control over their stealth approach. In contrast, today's Ubisoft games often emphasize action over stealth, and fans have been vocal about missing the intense tactical nature of games like Chaos Theory. Beyond Good and Evil, 2003. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to LAWG for more thrilling game playthroughs and tips. Hit the bell icon to stay updated on our latest uploads. Join our community of gamers and artists, and let's keep the gaming spirit alive. Until next time, keep gaming and stay awesome. I'm fucking crazy. It's okay. It's like water under the bridge. Did I ever tell you the definition of insanity?